In April, after months of silence, Voyager 1 finally sent a message back from over 15 billion miles away. What it revealed wasn't just a status update. It cracked open new questions about what's really out there beyond our solar system. And the answers? They're not what anyone expected. Yes, Voyager 1 has reached the other side, the far edge of the sun's protective bubble. But what it's finding out there, it's rewriting the rules of interstellar space. After crossing the heliopause in 2012, Voyager 1 became humanity's first emissary to the stars, venturing where nothing man-made had gone before. And now, after a nail-biting communications blackout that lasted months, the spacecraft is sending back data that's forcing scientists to rethink everything they thought they knew about the space between stars. What Voyager 1 is detecting in the interstellar medium isn't just surprising, it's transforming our understanding of the galaxy itself. The craft's instruments are picking up phenomena that no one predicted, revealing a cosmic environment that's far more dynamic, structured and mysterious than our models suggested. This isn't just another space story. This is humanity's first direct sampling of what exists beyond the sun's reach. And the reality is more fascinating than fiction. New groundbreaking data. Something's off out there. What Voyager 1 is encountering 15 billion miles from Earth is unlike anything scientists predicted. The spacecraft's instruments are revealing an interstellar environment that's far from the empty void we imagined. The first shock came from the magnetometer readings. Voyager detected an interstellar magnetic field that's tilted sharply compared to the sun's. Scientists didn't expect the fields to align, but this steep misalignment suggests a galactic level boundary. The readings point to something more significant. Voyager may be near a magnetic turbulence zone, where galactic magnetic fields twist, reconnect, or tangle. These aren't small ripples. They're fundamental structures that could reshape our understanding of how the galaxy works at its largest scales. Then there's the plasma. Voyager's instruments have picked up multiple density spikes, like pressure waves moving through space. These aren't random fluctuations. They indicate Voyager might be passing through actual shock fronts left behind by ancient supernovae that exploded thousands of years ago. And the silence of space? It doesn't exist. Voyager's plasma wave instrument has detected constant low-frequency oscillations. It's not emptiness out there. It's something whispering. A cosmic hum that permeates the space between stars. Think of it this way. Voyager isn't drifting through emptiness. It's more like flying through an invisible fog, and every few months we find that the fog is layered. Some parts are hotter, some parts denser. And that hum, that might just be the weather of interstellar space. What's most surprising is how structured the interstellar medium is. Instead of a uniform sea of particles, Voyager is finding distinct regions with their own properties like sailing through different climate zones on an interstellar ocean. Unexpected patterns, galactic rays and cosmic pressure. The deeper Voyager one pushes into interstellar space, the stranger the environment becomes. One of the most shocking discoveries came immediately after crossing the heliopause. Voyager recorded a sharp spike in high energy particles that nobody anticipated. These cosmic rays accelerated to nearly the speed of light by distant supernovae and black holes, bombard Voyager at rates far higher than inside our solar system. The jump wasn't gradual. It was abrupt, like crossing an invisible threshold. What this reveals is profound. Our sun's protective bubble shields Earth and our solar system far more effectively than we thought. We're living in a cosmic oasis, protected from the harsh radiation that fills interstellar space. But the pattern of these cosmic rays isn't uniform. Voyager's detectors have measured subtle variations that suggest something even more intriguing. The interstellar medium may have natural corridors of radiation, like cosmic highways where particles preferentially flow. 
Could Voyager be detecting a cosmic pressure gradient, hinting at larger galactic structure? The data points to exactly that. These aren't random fluctuations. They're systematic patterns that map onto something bigger than we can see directly. Some astrophysicists are now asking, is Voyager entering a low-density void between galactic clouds? Hmm, an ancient scar left by stellar explosions. The evidence suggests we're not just measuring local conditions, but glimpsing the aftermath of cataclysmic events that shaped our galactic neighborhood millions of years ago. If you love real deep space exploration without the sci-fi fluff, hit that like button and subscribe. We're just getting started. Digital CPR. NASA revives a dying spacecraft. In late 2023, Something terrifying happened. Voyager 1 went silent. After 46 years of faithful reporting from the frontiers of space, our most distant explorer stopped sending back usable data. For months, the spacecraft transmitted only garbled, incomprehensible signals. This wasn't just any communication problem. This was a 15 billion mile emergency with a spacecraft running on 1970s technology. NASA engineers traced the issue to a corrupted memory chip, likely damaged by a cosmic ray strike, one of those same high-energy particles Voyager had been studying. The irony wasn't lost on anyone. Voyager was wounded by the very phenomenon it was sent to investigate. The fix? Nothing short of miraculous. Engineers had to reroute code from 1970s hardware into backup memory areas remotely across a distance so vast that radio signals take over 22 hours to make the round trip. They essentially performed brain surgery on a spacecraft using commands written when most of us weren't even born. Imagine giving CPR to a robot that's 15 billion miles away. And from 1977, that's what NASA just did. They didn't just save Voyager, they bought us a few more years of messages from deep space. By April 2024, the patient showed signs of life. First came basic engineering telemetry, Voyager's vital signs. Then in May, the magnetometer and plasma wave instrument came back online. By June, all four active science instruments were functioning again, each one revealing another piece of the interstellar puzzle. And what Voyager is detecting now? It's not just data. It's clues to the structure of our galaxy's invisible skeleton. The rescue wasn't just an engineering triumph. It was a lifeline to the only direct measurements we have from beyond our solar system. Without this fix, we would have lost our eyes and ears in interstellar space. A new kind of map, Voyager's role in galactic GPS. What Voyager 1 is doing goes far beyond simply sending back readings. With every data packet, it's helping scientists construct something unprecedented, a navigational map of interstellar space. Scientists are now using Voyager data as anchor points to build 3D models of the Milky Way's magnetic and radiation zones. This isn't theoretical modeling anymore. It's real-world cartography of the cosmos. The cosmic ray gradients Voyager measures, combined with particle density readings and those intriguing magnetic field twists, are giving us our first real-scale map of our stellar neighborhood. It's like having a weather satellite, but for interstellar space. See this? It's not fiction. These voids and walls Voyager detects might someday become the safe lanes we use to guide spacecraft or shield future astronauts from radiation. This mapping has profound implications. The radiation in interstellar space is intense, far more dangerous than what astronauts encounter in Earth orbit. Understanding where the natural shields and danger zones are could determine whether humans can ever safely venture beyond our solar system. Some astrophysicists believe these Voyager-mapped structures could even influence how stars form in our region of the galaxy. The magnetic field orientations it's measuring might channel cosmic material into denser regions, potentially triggering future star formation. Because here's the thing. Voyager isn't just surviving. It's quietly drawing the first real blueprint of interstellar space. 
This is groundbreaking science happening in real time. Each new data point from Voyager helps refine these models, creating an increasingly detailed picture of what lies beyond our cosmic doorstep. And the timing couldn't be better. As we plan more ambitious missions to the outer solar system and beyond, this Voyager-constructed map could become the foundation for how we navigate the void between stars. Interstellar weather, cloudlets, filaments, and the local bubble. The space between stars isn't the uniform void astronomers once imagined. Voyager 1 has revealed it's more like an ocean with currents, eddies, and weather patterns all invisible to our telescopes until now. Since crossing into interstellar space, Voyager has passed through at least two distinct interstellar cloudlets. These aren't visible clouds like on Earth. They're regions where the density of plasma, dust, and gas suddenly changes, often by factors of two to three times. What's remarkable is the fine structure Voyager is detecting. The probe's instruments show evidence of structured plasma ripples, almost like atmospheric fronts in space. These aren't random. They have clear boundaries and characteristics, suggesting large-scale organization in what we thought was chaos. NASA scientists now believe the Sun is currently moving through what they call the local interstellar cloud, and Voyager is helping define its outer edges. This cloud is just one feature inside the much larger local bubble, an enormous cavity in the interstellar medium created by ancient supernovae. The implications reach all the way back to Earth. These density shifts in the interstellar medium could affect our planet's exposure to cosmic rays over millennia. As the solar system drifts through different interstellar environments, the radiation environment at Earth subtly changes potentially affecting everything from cloud formation to mutation rates in living organisms. What Voyager's showing us is that the edge of the solar system isn't an edge at all. It's a messy, chaotic swirl of plasma, radiation, and magnetism. Not empty space, but space with structure. And we're only now realizing this isn't a straight line out. It's a gauntlet of invisible forces we're just beginning to understand. This complex interstellar weather creates a dynamic environment that's constantly changing. The boundaries Voyager crosses aren't fixed. They shift and evolve as the sun moves through the galaxy at 450,000 miles per hour. Every new measurement from Voyager helps refine our understanding of these structures, revealing a cosmic landscape that's far more textured and intricate than anyone imagined. The Legacy Beyond the Mission While Voyager 1's scientific mission may end in a few years as its power gradually fades, its journey is just beginning. This small spacecraft will continue silently coasting through the cosmos long after we're gone. In about 40,000 years, Voyager 1 will make its closest approach to a star called Gliese 445, passing within 1.6 light years of this distant red dwarf. By cosmic standards, this is a near miss, almost like a celestial handshake across the vastness of space. What makes this journey truly remarkable is that Voyager carries a piece of humanity with it, the Golden Record. This time capsule of Earth, containing sounds, music, greetings in 55 languages and 116 images, isn't just a sentimental payload. It's engineered for extreme longevity. The Golden Record is designed to last over a billion years in the harsh environment of space. Long after Earth's continents have shifted beyond recognition, long after human civilization has either evolved into something unrecognizable or disappeared entirely, this record will endure, pristine and intact. No other human object will leave the heliosphere for decades, maybe longer. Voyager is literally our longest lasting trace in the universe, an ambassador that will outlive not just us, but potentially our entire species. One day, Earth may be long gone. But out there, Voyager will still be floating, carrying a message, waiting for someone or something to find it. And if they do, they'll meet us, frozen in time.
This cosmic time capsule gives Voyager a significance that transcends its scientific mission. It becomes not just a probe, but a monument, perhaps the most enduring monument humanity will ever create. As Voyager drifts through the interstellar medium, mapping the invisible structures of our galactic neighborhood, it's also carrying the essence of who we were in the 1970s. Our music, our languages, our understanding of ourselves and our place in the cosmos. In this sense, Voyager's journey across the boundary of interstellar space is more than a scientific milestone. It's humanity's first tentative step into eternity. So what's really out there? After all this time, what has Voyager truly found beyond the heliopause? No, it's not aliens, no wormholes, no portals to other dimensions. But what Voyager discovered is more real and more surprising than science fiction could imagine. Boundaries we didn't expect, forces we never mapped, and a galactic environment far more active than science predicted. The interstellar medium isn't a featureless void. It's a dynamic, structured environment with its own weather patterns, magnetic topography, and radiation zones. It has layers, fronts, and boundaries that shape the invisible architecture of our galaxy. Voyager revealed that the transition from our solar bubble to interstellar space isn't clean. It's messy, complex, and fascinating. The magnetic fields don't align as expected. The radiation environment changes dramatically, and those plasma waves suggest constant activity we never knew existed. What do you think Voyager will find next? Drop a comment before we reveal the final takeaway. The most profound discovery might be this. We live in a protected oasis. The sun's heliosphere shields us from an environment that's far more intense and radiation-filled than we realized. Our solar system isn't just our home, it's our shelter in a cosmic storm. So yes, Voyager reached the other side, and what it found? It's not what we thought, it's better. It's real science that's changing how we understand our place in the galaxy. If you've made it this far, you're exactly who we make these videos for. Subscribe for more real space stories. No hype, just truth. The technicals. For those interested in the details, here's the backstory. Voyager 1 launched in 1977 on what was initially just a planetary tour. After visiting Jupiter and Saturn, it kept going, entering interstellar space in 2012 when it crossed the heliopause at about 11 billion miles from Earth. The spacecraft carries a suite of instruments, including a magnetometer, plasma wave system, and cosmic ray detector. These simple but durable tools were designed for planetary exploration, but have proven remarkably adaptable to studying interstellar space. In September 2024, engineers performed a critical thruster swap to maintain the spacecraft's Earth-pointing attitude, bypassing clogged fuel lines that threatened to end the mission. And in early 2025, facing dwindling power, NASA made the difficult decision to shut down Voyager 1's cosmic ray detector to extend the overall mission life. With three science instruments still functioning, Voyager continues to send back data though the transmissions are incredibly faint, just 23 watts, and take over 22 hours to reach Earth. Every day Voyager 1 operates is a bonus, a gift of knowledge from the only human-made object sampling the space between stars firsthand. 